Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about qualitative uh, clinical assessment in social work. Qualitative assessment methods focus on understanding and describing significant aspects of a client's life using words, observations, and visual representations rather than numerical data. The importance of incorporating qualitative data uh, alongside quantitative measures in clinical assessment has been widely discussed in the field of clinical assessment over the past half century. Evidence-based assessment, which involves using research and theory to guide assessment, emphasizes the need for clinicians to consider qualitative methods when evaluating client needs and preferences. Qualitative assessment methods uh, include various techniques, such as interviews, process recordings, case studies, observations, self-characterization, and portfolio assessments. These methods complement quantitative approaches and enhance clinical assessments. The richness of qualitative assessment lies in its ability to provide in-depth descriptions of client experiences, offering a nuanced understanding of their problems. Qualitative and quantitative assessment methods should be seen as complementary rather than competing. Clinical judgment remains a vital aspect of assessment and practitioners can use a combination of methods to gather comprehensive data for a holistic understanding of a client's situation. Qualitative methods excel in revealing personal perspectives, emphasizing context and process, and contributing to a deeper understanding of clients' experiences in the therapeutic relationship. These approaches enhance the reliability and validity of client information, ultimately improving the quality of assessment and client care. Qualitative assessment methods offer unique advantages in the assessment process. They uncover personal perspectives through flexibility, emphasizing context and process within therapeutic relationships. Various qualitative assessments, such as observations, interviews, narratives, and experiential exercises facilitate a holistic understanding of clients. What are the key contributions of the qualitative methods? First, qualitative assessment reveals the symbolic significance of behavior and provides context for quantitative findings. Second, it suits diverse populations, bridging cultural gaps and allowing explorations of culturally based thinking and behavior. Next, it promotes self-awareness. Self-awareness is essential for understanding both the social workers and clients' perspectives, reducing bias and fostering better assessments. In addition, qualitative methods nurture a more holistic, empathetic, and cooperative relationship, acknowledging the impact of the social workers' presence. What's also important is that qualitative methods align with various theoretical models, including family systems, ecological systems, and strengths perspectives. Finally, qualitative research informs evidence-based practice and clinical assessment tool development, offering valuable insights into intervention responses and practitioner implementation. Ethnographic interviewing is a vital component of qualitative assessment in social work. It emphasizes face-to-face, -face, equal, and collaborative interactions with clients, particularly those from marginalized groups. This highly personal and interpretive approach encourages social workers to minimize biases, preconceptions, and diagnoses. The social workers use this approach to enhance the understanding of the client situation while clients serve as teachers who have the best knowledge of their personal realities. 
Ethnographic interviews can be structured, semi-structured, or open-ended, offering flexibility in the assessment process. Different types of questioning techniques, such as descriptive, structural, frame, contrast rating, and circular questions are used to gather information effectively. Ethnographic interviewing is essential for exploring clients' personal meanings, cultural backgrounds, and unique perspectives. The Cultural Formulation Interview, CFI, in the DSM-5 exemplifies the use of ethnographic interviewing to promote cross-cultural understanding in mental health assessments. It employs semi-structural semi -structured questions to elicit clients' perceptions of their issues, paying attention to the language and context of clients' unique experiences. This approach encourages respectful and culturally sensitive communication in social work practice. Narrative methods play a crucial role in qualitative assessment in social work, allowing clients to communicate their stories through verbal or written narratives. These methods include process recording, case studies, and self-characterizations. Process recording is a detailed written case recording that involves documenting the client's interview, including their words and behaviors, along with the social worker's personal reactions. It helps social workers gain awareness of their actions, understand relational dynamics, and assess their practice skills. While it is time-consuming, process recording is a valuable tool for social work education and complex cases. Case studies provide a comprehensive exploration of a single case focusing on aspects of clients functioning. These studies encompass individual, uh, individuals, families, groups, or organizations using various sources like interviews, histories, and observations. They aim to better understand characteristics and issues within the case, exploring themes such as cultural influences and treatment outcomes. Case studies can also be very valuable for learning. Detailed case notes made during inter interviews and observations are essential for constructing meaningful case studies. Reflecting on these notes through methods like immersion and crystallization analysis helps identify clinically relevant patterns and themes, which often leads to a more credible and trustworthy case formulations. Self-characterization is based on personal construct theory. It involves clients writing descriptions of themselves as if they were characters in a play. Clients assume the role of an empathic confidant, exploring how they perceive and construct their world in reaction to their roles. For example, a client might describe themselves themselves as a go-getter or easygoing. Therapists uh, use these characterizations to identify personal constructs and engage in reflective dialogue to understand their meaning. This flexible technique can assess various aspects such as loss, roles, family dynamics, and self-representations in different populations, including children. Its adaptability ensures minimal therapist influence, promoting client self-expression and insight. Graphic assessment methods in social work involve the use of visual tools to understand and assess clients, particularly when verbal expression is challenging. These methods are valuable for working with children and in cross-cultural contexts. Ecomaps provide a visual representation of a family and its ecological context, mapping 
family, family relationships, and connections to social systems like schools and work. They are versatile tools for assessing family dynamics and exploring macro-level influences, such as LGBTQ plus community support in a partner's gender transition. Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, integrate various data layers into visualizations, revealing the relationships between the individuals and their environment. For example, it can help examine how older people interact with their neighborhoods and how this interaction impacts their health. GIS combines GPS tracking with in-depth interviews for a deeper understanding of clients' interactions with their surroundings. Lifelines visually depict an individual's life history, noting significant events and their meanings in chronological order. They facilitate recollection, sequencing of personal events, and the exploration of life experiences. Lifelines have therapeutic value, helping clients link past experiences with their present situations. They are adaptable to various clinical contexts and can be used for both individual and collective experiences, such as examining culture, illness, distress, and help-seeking behaviors among specific groups. Observational methods, particularly participant observation, are crucial in qualitative assessments. Non-structured observation allows for natural client observation with permission. Participant observation immerses the clinician in the client's life, providing deep insights into their experiences. This method emerged from anthropology and is now employed in social work assessment. Observation complements interviews by capturing nonverbal cues, environmental context, and hidden behaviors. For instance, autism spectrum disorders diagnosis relies on naturalistic behavioral observations to accurately assess social communication and repetitive behaviors. Participant observation helps in cases where little is known about the client. There is a cultural gap, or behavior is obscured, or hidden behaviors are involved. To conduct participant observation, clinicians must gain permission, establish rapport, and explain their purpose without intimidating clients. Different types of observations, descriptive, focused, and selective can be used, each with its own fo focus. Maintaining structured case notes is crucial to track observ observed behaviors, sequence of events, and emotional expressions. Portfolio assessment combines various evaluative approaches and is useful in educational and social work settings. It focuses on multidimensional evaluation, evaluation, reflecting a shift towards constructivist learning. Portfolios require self-observation and reflection, which promotes critical thinking and anti-oppressive practices. Evaluating the validity and reliability of qualitative information relies on the completeness and consistency of data logical inferences, and triangulation with multiple data sources. Questions guide this evaluation process, um, such as whether the information tells a complete story and if the clinician collaborated with the client. Finally, combining qualitative and quantitative data sources can enhance reliability and validity, ensuring more accurate assessments.